वेलकम टू द लेक्चर माय नेम इज सोनेंज मील एंड टुडे इट इज द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आर कोर्स डीएसपी कोर्स एंड इट्स अबाउट एडोप्टिव फिल्टर्स व्हाट आर एडोप्टिव फिल्टर्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस बुक व्हिच इज रिटन बाय लिटन it says that an adaptive filter is a digital filter that has self adjusting characteristics it means that it adjusts by itself it adjusts its coefficients automatically it adjusts its coefficient according to changing environment what it says that it is capable of adjusting the filter coefficients automatically to adopt the input signal via adaptive algorithm so adaptive filter plays important role in modern digital signal processing uh, like in telephone echo cancellation noise cancellation equalization of communication channels biomedical signal enhancement active noise control and adaptive control system these are some of the application areas of adaptive filters <coughs> adaptive filter work generally for adaptation of signal changing environment spectral overlap uh, between noise and signal and unknown or time varying noise for example if the noise is changing its spectrum with respect to time then to notch out or to figure out that noise we will have to use adaptive filter <coughs> for example when the interference noise is strong and its spectrum overlaps that of the desired signal removing interference using a traditional filter such as notch filter with fixed filter coefficient will fail because you can see that in the figure if we have a noise spectrum which is changing with respect to time and we design a filter traditional filter with fixed coefficients for this spectrum initially let's suppose the spectrum is at this place then when we apply the filter it shifts to the right and that filter will not work in that case so we need adaptive filter to notch out this noise so to understand the concept of adaptive filtering let's have an example uh, this figure look at this figure <coughs> this is the signal and this is noise source so here noise and signal are some sum up so after pa passing through <coughs> analog to digital converter this is the signal component plus noise component and it is the result will be the corrupted signal so that corrupted signal is passed to a summer and the second input of the summer is 
what the output of adaptive filter so the output of adaptive filter is weighted sum of the input what does it means it means w of n multiplied by x of n x of n is the input that is given to the filter and now from where this w of n comes this w of m n comes from least mean square algorithm <coughs> which will be discussed uh, later so the final output will be the corrupted signal minus the output of the adaptive filter so this is the equation to calculate uh, weight update this is equation to calculate output of the adaptive filter this is the formula for calculating the error signal so let's have some mathematical com computations and comparisons corrupted signal is given in this table and uh, noise is also given so if we want to calculate error just um, calculate d of n first which is i think given so y of n which is w of n into x of n x of n is given just substituting the values we can get uh, weight update original signal and error so if we compare graphically this is the signal input signal original signal this is the graph of the noise or the input to the filter this is the corrupted signal adding noise to the signal original signal and this is the output or the error signal as you can see that it is very similar to the original signal but a little bit corruption there in the start and this is w of n spectrum of w of n <coughs> so the output of the FIR filter or adaptive filter will be the weighted sum of the inputs. So the next topic is basic Weiner filter theory and least mean square algorithm that we have figured out in the figure block diagram as you can see that this is mentioned that weight is updated by using LMS algorithm <coughs> many approaches can be used for binary filter and uh, LMS is one of them so vinyl filter output is just the weighted sum of the inputs vinyl filter adjusts its weight to produce a desired filter output which is close to the nice contained in the corrupted signal at the subtract output the noise is cancelled out hence error free signal is obtained so consider a single weight um, case y of n is w of n x of n 
and error is calculated by d of n minus w of n you can say y of n and substitute it substituting y of n as w of n um, x of n now let's <coughs> determine the best w best weight so if we take this care of this error we can get the quadratic equation and uh, then taking the expectation or mean of the squared error we get the following equation this is the simple formula of a a minus b whole square which comes out to be a square minus 2ab plus b square so if we use the following notations for the following terms j what is j here j is mean squared error sigma square is the power of the corrupted signal p is the cross correlation between corrupted signal and x of n which is noise uh, input of the filter and uh, r is autocorrelation <coughs> so if we expand the expectation it comes out to be the mean sum of the components divided by total components or total number so if we simplify this equation or write in terms of the notations it comes out to be j is equal to sigma square minus 2 wp plus uh, w square r so we are interested to find the optimal weight so optimal weight is achieved where mean squared error is minimum or j is minimum so if we take the first derivative and uh, substitute it equal to 0 we can get w so taking the first derivative with respect to w the only variables is w all other uh, p is uh, cross correlation which is constant or is auto correlation again constant uh, sigma square the power which will be the constant so the resulting weight comes out to be auto correlation inverse into cross correlation let's have an example <coughs> we are given the mean square error which is 40 minus 20 w plus 10 w square and we are asked to find the optimal w and j minimum so to find optimal w we have seen that we have to just take the first derivative so if we take the first derivative it comes out to be minus 20 plus 20 w and put that derivative equal to 0 we can get the value of w which comes out to be 1 as in this case and substituting this value and the given equation of j we can get the minimum value of j which is 30 so there are few points that we have to remember optimal coefficients can be different for every block of data since the corrupted signal and the reference signal are unknown the autocorrelation and cross correlation may vary the second thing in that we should remember are 
need to be clarified is that if a large number of quotients are used the inverse matrix of autocorrelation may require large number of computations and may become ill conditions this will make real time implementation impossible so what does it means it means that we should use small number of quotient not very large if we use large then it will be difficult for us so the last thing to clarify is that the optimal solution is based on stats statistic assuming the size of the data block and is sufficient long this will cause a long processing delay that will make real time implementation impossible so if we have a very long block then again it will be difficult to implement so as we point out solving binary equation requires a lot of computations including matrix inversion the well known textbook so here is the reference of the textbook author vendro and streams strands described a powerful lms algorithm by using steepest descent algorithm to minimize the msc sample <coughs> so we are going to study the steepest descent algorithm illustrated in the following so w of n is uh, the weight update is equal to the previous weight minus mu into first derivative of mse which is mean squared error with respect to w so mu is constant controlling speed of convergence so the a little bit uh, illustration is given here as shown in the figure if the derivative is less than 0 notice that the constant controlling speed of convergence multiplied by the derivative will be greater than 0 the new coefficient will be increased to approach the minimal value on the other hand if this is greater than 0 then the if it is multiplied by mu and negative mu the result will be less so the next weight will be reduced will be decreased and when it comes out to be zero the best coefficient is reached let's take an example and then finish it off consider the following quadratic uh, mean squared equation function for binary filter which is j is equal to 40 minus 20 w plus 10 w square use steepest method with the initial guess initial guess is given mu is given uh, we will have to find the w and j minimum so taking the first derivative multiplying it uh, with the mu mu is um, given and it comes out to be 0.8 uh, applying the steepest descent algorithm 
n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 finally Finally, substituting W3 into the MSc function, we get J minimum, which comes out to be 30. As we can see, after three iteration, the filter coefficient and minimum values are very close to the theoretical values obtained in the example, previous example. So, application of strip best Decent algorithm still needs an examination of derivative. So we can further simplify it as the derivative comes out to be minus two error into input signal and the final weight update will be w of n plus 2 mu e of n x of n and the output of the filter will be the weighted sum into the input and the convergence factor is chosen in between 0 and 1 over n p x so that's it and this is the steps or summary of the implementation of LMS uh, algorithm initialize w of 0 w of n to arbitrary value read D of n, X of n, and perform digital filtering, compute error, update each filter coefficient using LMS algorithm. So that's it for the whole course. Thanks very much for watching.